Perhaps you saw this story trending over the weekend. Uh, supermodel and actress Paulina Poroskova talking about feeling invisible and not heard or seen by men now that she's in her 50s. So I did see this one on my phone and I certainly mm -hmm. read it, uh, maybe resembling that report, remark. So she says, you know, it's just disappointing. She's a single woman. Obviously, she was married to Rick Ocasek from the Cars for years and years and years, and we did lose him. Uh, I think they had separated before that time. So, you know, and she's been pretty famous for not getting all the fillers, the Botoxes, the surgery. She just wants to age as herself, as her own a human. She says, like, I just don't feel that women are perceived as being attractive um, as they get into their 50s, that men constantly will be more interested in someone 20 years younger. Yeah, she says she's, she wants to celebrate aging gracefully, but the world tells women, our society tells women otherwise. I, I, I agree with her. Uh, she has a point. Uh, clinical psychologist uh, Dr. Jamie Zuckerman joins us now. Doctor, good to see you. Good to see you. So this, you know, I've heard this term before, invisible women syndrome. That's a thing. Mm -hmm. It is a thing. It is a societal concept that has been around for a very long time. Explain it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So it's this idea that as women get to 45, 50 years old, that they kind of take a back seat in society as far as being noticed by other men, not just socially, not just you know in the dating world, but, but also in the workplace. Um, it's this view that after a certain age that women are just no longer almost relevant to society, that they, like I said, kind of fall into the backdrop. I think too often it can be easy to identify your self-worth by how you look, unfortunately, rather than your character and achievements. Mm. How do we change the narrative? That's right. Yeah. So one of the things is that men, as they age, um, their, their aging is looked at more with the idea of success and experience and productivity. Whereas with women, as they age, it's not viewed as that. It's viewed as you know, they are no longer youthful looking. Uh, they no longer have the same role or therefore the same purpose. And w women frequently, unfortunately, like you said, are judged on this barometer of healthy attractiveness. So what are the tips? And what do we do? So the tips are what I would recommend for women is to be very mindfully aware of what social media these days is putting out. It's not real. Um, the images you see, they're not real. You want to associate yourself with like-minded people who value success, who value progress, who value achievements rather than just looks. And I always tell my patients, my female patients, if you want to get Botox, you get Botox. If you want to get filler, get filler. If mm -hmm. you want to go gray at 45, great, go gray. You need to do what is best for you, not what people or society are telling you to do. And we should applaud Paulina for bringing this Absolutely. up. Absolutely. You know, the more we talk Absolutely. about it. And social media is making it worse. That's right. That's right. I certainly have, I have a friend that she is like my body goals and she's so fit and runs marathons. And you can see with Paulina right here, I'll just go to her. So she doesn't do what, you know, I frankly do. And so many women do get a little bit of Botox, take out the crow's feet, take out Absolutely. marionette lines around there. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't. She's like, I just want to age in my skin and in my face. Mm -hmm. and, and But she still looks amazing. When you look at this magazine article and there she is with this like lawn live body, um, she's phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a double-edged sword. You know, we're, as women, we're told age gracefully and kind of, you know, we, we get told don't get filler, don't get both sides. But then at the same time, things like this come up where we're kind of, you know, told don't age at all. <laughs> right. It's interesting, too, because they bring up a, a sexual component of the discussion, yeah. too, where mm -hmm. it almost seems like women, as opposed to men, have an expiration date on their bodies yes. and, their, and, their, and, their, and their hearts. Yeah, women at a certain age are, you know, from society standpoint, are no longer viewed as sexual beings. Yeah. So I say make yourself heard, ladies. <laughs> Let make us yourself roar. Heard. Let's just take, yeah. Well, that's why, like, Sex in the City is so great, because those are women in their 50s and that's exactly right. that. You can, like, reclaim our own selves yes, and be like, exactly. we're still humans. We are, our heart's beating, our blood is flowing, and we can just be our best selves no matter what's on mm -hmm. our faces. Right. And if you feel rejected from men, for, the, for all the women out there, you know, make sure that you're asking yourself the right question, not what is wrong with me? What do mm -hmm. I look a certain way? But instead, why do I want somebody who's judging me in that way?
We, the, you're good. We Thanks. need to have you back to talk about the flip side of this. I guess this is a flip side. Why do men, when they get older, still want to be with women why do their they? age? Why, Mike, why do they? I'm asking the doctor. I am not the expert. <laughs> oh, you might be the expert on this one. Look at that. We're out of time. Thank you, doctor. We appreciate it. We'll Take care.